Hello students, hope you are all very safe and fine at home. Today continuing to learn geography. Let's pass on to a new topic, natural vegetation. Let's see what is there in the syllabus, importance of forest, types of natural vegetation like tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, tropical desert forest, littoral and mountain forest, distribution and correlation with their natural environment and forest conservation. Students, you would have seen trees and plants grown everywhere. Maybe you are walking along the roadside, you would have come across some plants and trees grown. At the same time, when you are traveling on an outskirt, you would have seen plants and trees grown. Maybe on a recreation, you visit some place, for example, you have Bandipur or maybe Nilgiris you find a stretch of plants and trees grown. See, plants and trees grown by man is not called as a natural vegetation. But the stretch of plants and trees which is found grown on its own based on the climatic conditions available is known as natural vegetation. Natural vegetation means plant cover that has not been disturbed over a long time. Grasses, shrubs and trees which grow on their own without human interference is known as natural vegetation. As a part of natural vegetation, flora which means plants of a particular region considered as a group and species, for example alpine vegetation. You find alpine vegetation only along the mountain slopes and it has its own characteristic features like these trees are usually conical in shape. They have needle shaped leaves to promote evapotranspiration. At the same time, vegetation means assemblage of plant species in a given environmental setup. For example, mangrove. See, mangrove forests are also known as the tidal forest or swamp forest, which is usually found along the deltaic regions of any river mouth. For example, in India, along the mouths of river Ganga and Brahmaputra, you have a typical tidal forest known as Sundarbans. Forest, which is a large tract of land covered with trees and shrubs, herbs and animals. See, forest can be a part of natural vegetation, which cannot be compared to the total area covered in a given geographical area. For example, Gir is a forest which is limited only to the Kutch area of Gujarat. So likewise, there are different types of forests present in India depending upon the climatic factors available. For example, you have alpine type along the slopes of Himalayas, you have evergreen tropical forests in the northeastern part of India, due to heavy rainfall, you have tropical deciduous forest along the eastern slopes of Western Ghats. Why? Because the seasonal rainfall. But the western slopes of uh, Western Ghats has evergreen forest. Why? Because of the heavy rainfall on an annual base. See, in India, there are different types of forest. For example, you have tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, tropical desert forest, littoral and mountain forest. See, these are the different types of forests present in India because of varied climatic and geographical conditions present. Before we pass on to discuss the varied or different types of forests, let's see why is forest important. See. Forest has many uses and importance and they are categorized like productive functions, protective functions, regulatory functions, accessory functions. For example, like you have productive functions which means product based. Forest gives us fruits and herbs, wood for furniture, raw materials like pulp for paper manufacturing provides firewood. So these are all the various products that we obtain from forest. Protective functions. Control floods. Protect soil. 
See, the roots of the trees in the forest can anchor the soil and prevent surface runoff which is nothing but flooding. Maintains soil fertility. See, when the roots anchor the soil and at the same time the dead leaves that fall onto the soil gets decomposed and add to the nutrient pool of the soil making the soil fertile. So on one hand the roots of the trees hold the soil and at the same time the trees help in nutrifying the soil. Trees also help in retaining moisture contribute to formation of humus. Just now I told you that dead leaves get decomposed and add to the nutrient pool of the soil. So hence these are all the protective functions of the forest. Now regulatory functions. The trees in the forest restore oxygen during photosynthesis. You see you would have all learned in your lower classes or maybe in science subject that plant has its own mechanism of preparing its own food. See. The green pigment in the plants that's known as the chlorophyll making use of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere the plant prepares its own food and liberates oxygen which is deposited into the atmosphere and you all know that for the survival of animals and human beings oxygen which is given out by the plants is important so hence trees and plants play a very very important role in restoring oxygen in the atmosphere. Trees help maintaining the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. See it's a known fact that over accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can result in greenhouse effect which can cause global warming and simultaneously there can be a lots and lots of distortion and disturbance in the ecological balance. As learned earlier, trees supply oxygen for animal survival. Trees influence climate and regulate water cycle. Of course, the stretch of forest is definitely responsible for influencing climatic factor and influence or attract the rain bearing clouds that gives rain. Other functions like provides natural habitat for wild animals is a very, very important factor. Forests are the natural homes of wild animals and provides aesthetic and recreation to humans through national parks and wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves. People visit forest areas as a part of recreation to spend time, enjoy. But at the same time, for those people who are living in forests known as tribes, the forest is not only the natural home but is also considered as their god. But whatever it is, forest is known as the natural resource. Why? Because it has enormous use and utilities that supports life on the earth.